Hi guys, I'm Laurie Patel. You know, in this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I'm gonna share with you one of my childhood favorites that is incredibly simple and easy to do, but I'm kind of surprised and shocked at myself that I hadn't shared this recipe with you sooner. It is my Nona's lentil soup. Now, if you follow me on my vlog channel, which you should, and I'll have a link down below, you know that I talk about this soup very often, and I even made it for New Year's Day because we always eat lentils on New Year's Day, and I had tons of people ask me to do a recipe on Laura in the Kitchen, so here I am. It's one of my favorites, and it's actually my brother and my sister's all-time favorite dish. So. There you have it, but it's incredibly simple and easy. I grew up eating it. The things you'll need are some brown lentils that you have, make sure you rinse really, really well. These are dried uh, brown lentils. You'll need some shortcut pasta. I'm using little shells, but Italini are just as good. You'll need some chopped up celery, some parsley. I've got a couple cloves of garlic. You want to make sure you leave them whole. And any tomato products you have on hand. I've got some crushed tomato, pa uh, tomato sauce here, but tomato sauce, tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, leftover marinara sauce, any tomato product will work. And you'll also need some olive oil, and then later on you'll need some salt and pepper. You don't need any salt and pepper right now. That's it. It's so incredibly simple and easy. You'll need a big pot. Now it's really hard for me to tell you how much water you need because it really depends on the pot you're using. But for this amount of lentils, which is about 10 ounces of lentils, I just filled this big soup pot about uh, two-thirds of the way up with water, and I have that over medium heat. And I'm going to add my lentils. And now to that, we are going to add everything else except for the pasta. You'll need your cloves of garlic, which we'll re we will take out later. So that's why you leave them whole. And you'll need your parsley and your celery and your tomato product. Now this is ridiculously simple and you think to yourself, how good can this possibly be? But trust me when I tell you, all these ingredients together create magic. And if you are, if you grew up in Italy, especially, well, I can't say that this is how they make it in northern Italy, but I can tell you that in Napoli, this is how we make lentil soup, because this is my Nona's recipe. You need a couple tablespoons of oil, olive oil as well. If you are Italian, grew up in the southern Italy, in Naples, then you know that this is the only lentil soup we eat. Now, I do ha make tons of different um, lentil recipes using different kinds of lentils, but when it comes to Italian lentil soup, my Nona's lentil soup, this is it. And it's also, we used to call it cucina povera because it's very cheap to make, considering you're using dried lentils, but is one of the most like, rich tasting foods to me because it just tastes like home. Enough chatting, bring this up to a boil, turn the heat down to about medium low, let it simmer for a good hour and a half or so or until the lentils are really soft and then we'll add in our next ingredient. My lentils have been cooking for about an hour and a half. Now you can see that it's, you know, the re this reduced a lot of the water has evaporated and it's gotten a lot thicker. Now you need to remember that this soup is not meant to be a really liquidy kind of soup. It's really thick and incredibly good. Um, now we're going to season it now. You never ever want to salt any dried beans before they are fully cooked because there's a little skin on the dried beans, you know, on the dried lentils as well. And if you salt them when they are still, you know, dry and they're not cooked yet, it, the salt prevents the skin from ever going really soft. It always tastes a little bit tough. So you want to make sure you season it now, after you've cooked it. Now that it's at this point, we've added our salt, let's add a good amount of black pepper. And you always want to add a good amount of black pepper when you serve this as well. And now this is the time where, in any house, in my household anyway, even if I have my, especially if I have my family over, my dad, my brother, my sister, um, we always retrieve the garlic cloves because they've done their job. You don't want anyone to bite down on them. But if it's just for Joe and I, I leave it in there because we love it. And now I'm going to add in my pasta, my little conchiglie, little tiny shells. And I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes or until the pasta is cooked all the way through. I'm actually going to fish this one out as well. About 10 minutes or until the pasta is cooked all the way through. And then we are ready to serve. How easy and simple is that? And it is one of the most comforting, most delicious things you can eat. And the, this is my kind of food. Like really, ho real home food is what speaks to me. And this is one of the very, very best. It's been about nine minutes. My pasta is pretty much fully cooked. Now at this point, make sure you constantly stir this because it does stick to the bottom of your pot. Um, so you wanna make sure you give this a good stir right from the bottom every couple minutes or so. Now, one of the most important parts about this, and my Nona does this every time she makes lentils, um, fagioli, any kind of soup that's thick like this. Turn the heat off, lid on, five to 10 minutes. Minimum five minutes, maximum 10 minutes. Lid on, let it sit, and then we're ready to serve it. Oh, 
I, look at that. See what happens when you let it sit for 10 minutes covered? At most 10 minutes, minimum five. Look at that beautifulness. This is pasta lenticchie. This is what I grew up on and I just, thrills me. Thrills me to bits and pieces. I'm just gonna serve myself some now. It's like a pre-dinner snack. Oh, I'm hungry. Lots of black pepper on top, crucial, absolutely crucial. And then, my friend, you go to town. Look at that. It's just, it's just perfect. Look how thick that is. That is good pasta lenticchie. If your pasta lenticchie is really like soupy, no, no. It needs to be really nice and thick. So just go ahead, and I'm gonna let this just cool for a second. It is like hot. It's perfect. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. And this is a, this is what I eat every single year on New Year's Day, and I have for my entire life. I've always eaten lentil soup either with rice. So sometimes I like to add rice to it. This is what I did this year. But most times I just add some shortcut pasta, or, or probably my all-time favorite is broken pieces of spaghetti. I don't know. Weird, but perfect. You have to trust me. Go to lara in the kitchen.com to get the right recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. And as always, I will see you.